Shalom everyone and welcome to Just a Word. This is Kazakh Aliyahu Yasharal. And you can find us at jawradio.org. Jaw Radio is your 24-7 online radio, Awakening the Nations with Truth. Today, we are going to be looking at the number of his name. Now, for those who are not aware of this, this should be an eye-opener. Please don't leave this video because most people in this world are not aware of this that we are going to be speaking out today. Just as in 2019, when we were speaking about the mark of the beast, and we spoke about that thing that was placed inside the bodies of people, we cannot even speak straight here. One of the reasons, by the way, that you have not seen us for such a long time, our videos were just being taken down too often. And... We saw it better to go back to our radio station to speak the truth there because we can speak the truth without anybody trying to censor us. So even a few weeks ago, three, even while we, we have stopped broadcasting, three of our videos were taken down probably in the space of a week. That is how rapidly they take down our videos because we are speaking things that they don't want you to hear. So... We are again in Revelation 13, verses 16 to 17. The number of his name. And this video, we will have to be speaking things concealed. So you might not be able to get the full truth. I might have to do another video, probably on BitChute or somewhere like that, where you can actually speak the truth and the whole truth without being censored. Now, the number of his name, Revelation 13 verses 16 to 17 says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now in this world, most of us concentrate almost solely, solely on the mark of the beast. We do not focus on the name of the beast or what we are going to be speaking about today, the number of his name. So that buying and selling does not only entailing taking the mark, which is what people actually focus on, but it focuses on having the name of the beast or the number of his name. Very important. Now that word number there. Now the mark of the beast we already told you was that thing that they got us to put in our bodies. Our, they are not meaning myself, but human beings, us in the world. In our bodies. And that is the mark of the beast. Eventually, they will be tying it to the number of his name in a digital requirement and that you will not be able to buy and sell unless you have this number. Now, this number is not necessarily going to come out with the mark of the beast. It will be coming out separately because it will be a unique number to you. And when we look at the meaning of the word number here, it is G706, Arithmos, and from where we get arithmetic, Arithmos, yes? And the very first meaning in the Thea lexicon is all that we need. It is a fixed and definite number. A fixed and definite number. Now the numbers that are coming out are going to be fixed and definite. In Jamaica, when they proposed a number of the Jamaican version, which is called the NIDS card, they tell us that number will be unique to us and will follow us unto death. So even when we die, no one can get that number. That is Revelation 13, 17. The number of his name, a fixed and definite number. And you are going to find this protocol for all the numbers that are going to be coming out. Now the number of his name, what does name mean? Name is the Greek word onoma, which means... Among other things, in the Thea lexicon it says, The name is used for everything which the name covers. 
everything the thought or feeling which is aroused in the mind by mentioning. Hearing, remembering the name, that is, for one's rank, authority, interests, pleasure, command, excellences, deeds, etc. So what it actually is saying, that anything that the name relates to or arouses in our minds or thoughts or our feelings, that is what the name is. So the name is actually rightly the authority. So anything that that name represents is the authority behind the name. And in the Strong's definition, it tells us that a name, literally or figuratively, authority, character. Authority or character. So the number of his name is aptly the number the fixed and definite number of his authority. A fixed and definite number of his authority. Of his authority. Now you are going to find, let me just tell you plain, there is coming up on this world global digital identity. That is going to be the number of his name. It is going to be proposed that every human being will have a digital number that relates only to them. Digital IDs linked to a social credit score, a massive database, and a programmable centralized digital currency could be a reality by 2030. According to the UN's Agenda 2030, providing a legal identity for all and a digital public infrastructure is essential to achieve peace, inclusivity, and justice. And to that end, the United Nations, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and partners of the Rockefeller Foundation have recently launched their 50 in 5 campaign to accelerate digital public infrastructure. The aim is to facilitate digital ID, digital payments like central bank digital currencies, and data sharing rollouts in 50 countries in five years' time, or by 2028. Now, the digital public infrastructure, or DPI, is an all-inclusive phrase for a technocratic governance system powered by three main components, digital ID, digital payments, and massive data sharing. Now, DPI is being pitched as a mechanism for financial inclusion, convenience, improved healthcare, safety and security, and to progress an environmentally green agenda. But my next guest says it's all part of an Orwellian plan to exercise control and shape a dystopian future by what he calls the controlling ox. That number is going to be separate from all other numbers that we have been given before. So, for example, in the United States, you have your social security number. You would think that they could use that number. No, but that is not the number of his authority. The number of his authority has to be a number that comes from the United Nations or the World Economic Forum or one of those authorities of Hasatan. It cannot be coming from the country itself because that is the nation's authority. You see, the Most High gives us the right of choice. He said to Moses, I put before you today life and death, good and evil. Choose life so that you and your seed may live. We have to choose. We have to be given the right to choose. When Satan, so for example, we were given things to put in our bodies already before. But that was not the thing of their authorities. Because people used to say, when we used to speak about the mark of the beast, oh, you have been given these things for years. You have been given these medications for years. But it was not the medication of their authority. They had to come out with one of their authority and give you the right to choose. Likewise, this number that comes out has to be unique. It has to be coming from their authority to give you the right as to whether you're going to choose life or you're going to choose death. Okay? I'm trying my best to give you the truth without committing this video. All right. So, in 2019, I think this was, the World Economic Forum wrote something entitled Post-COVID-19 World. So they were showing how getting a digital identity can get us past the problems of COVID-19. Now, these were the same people 
who said that the COVID-19 is an opportunity that they must not let escape. And these are the people who said that their aim is to merge man's digital, biological, and what's the other one? I don't remember the other one, our identities. It is, in other words, is to make man digital. Now, they said, human-centric digital identities an enabler to rebuild economy and trust. Human-centric digital identities, that is, digital identities that are inside of human beings. Look at the wording, please. Human-centric. What does human-centric mean? It's inside the human being. Human-centric digital identities, an enabler to rebuild economy and trust. In other words, digital identity is being tied to the economy. To the economy. It's being tied to money. It says, human-centric digital identity lets people know who they are dealing with without revealing more than the strictly necessary information. Digital identities give the user control of their data. They provide clear audit trails and streamline how businesses and governments allow people to register and access their services and trade, that is, buying and selling. This is a digital identity in the future that they are planning to enable us to enable us to be able to buy and sell. Digital, buy and sell. Okay? With our digital footprint extending into all walks of life, digital identification is becoming a global topic. A healthy digital identity network, that's what they're planning people, widens civic participation and supports societal advancement and this is what they are planning. And this is how they put things. When they are doing their things, they make it sound so attractive. Oh, a healthy digital identity network widens civic participation and supports societal advancement. Oh, it sounds so mouth-watering. But it's actually getting you tied to that thing they put in your bodies along with a digital number. Now, on 25th June... 2023, there was a publication on a website called dig.watch dig.watch and it says the headline is UN pushes for global, global digital ID system to boost financial inclusion. What does Revelation 13 17 says and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark of the beast or the name of the beast or the number of his name. What is this title? UN, United Nations, where out of which Satan operates. UN pushes for global digital ID system to boost financial inclusion, buying and selling. People, when we read these things, we have to use wisdom. We have to understand what they're saying. So it's a global digital ID that will be the basis, the foundation of whether or not we can buy or sell Revelation 13, 16 to 17. So they already gave us the first part, the mark of the beast. Now this, to marry it, is the number of his name. His name means it's coming from their authority, the authority World Economic Forum and the United Nations. Both of them working together. Right? Again, as I said again, I don't know how long this video might last. Speaking the truth. All right. The United Nations is advocating for the implementation of a digital ID system with banking and mobile payment platforms to enhance access to financial services and government services globally. This is the number of his name. This is Revelation 13, 17. We got to understand what they are saying. 
Let me read it again. Let me read from the title. And then you can, I, I'm, let me read. No, first let me read Revelation 13, verses 16 to 17. Then we will read that again. Revelation 13, 16 to 17. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Let's go back now to this thing. Remember what we just said? Or what the Most High just said in his word? UN, United Nations, pushes for global digital ID system to boost financial inclusion. Therefore, without this ID system, there will be financial exclusion. Hmm. The United Nations is advocating for the implementation of a digital ID system with banking and mobile payment platforms to enhance access to financial services and government services globally. Globally. He calls it all. This system aims to provide convenient access. This is now they're buttering it up to make it sound so nice and attractive to you. Mouth watering. This system aims to provide convenient access to a wide range of financial services, including bank accounts. What do you use bank accounts to do? Buy and sell. Including bank accounts, payments and remittances irrespective of location, while promoting participation in the global economy. That is your mark of the beast, Revelation 13, verse 17, and we don't even need to go any further. Hmm? The UN's, but um, let us go. The UN's propose, proposal promotes global digital cooperation. That means there's going to be one world order, and that cooperation is going to be controlled through the United Nations. The UN's pro proposal promotes global digital cooperation and sustainable development goals. That's why they gave us their Agenda 2030, Agenda 2021, etc. By connecting digital IDs with bank or mobile money accounts, social protection coverage can be effectively delivered to eligible beneficiaries. You see it. It's buying and selling. It's the mark of the beast. This is what the Bible is telling us about. The proposal also aligns with the World Economic Forum's efforts in biometrics, such as fingerprints or facial features for accurate and secure identification. They are working together. So their goals of World Economic Forum biometrics, that is extracting data from you by what they have given us to put inside us. Hey! Ah, despite technological advancements, the UN acknowledges the importance of addressing wealth, inequality, and ensuring equal access to the digital revolution. The UN aims to enhance financial inclusion and promote digital transactions by facilitating access. This is worldwide control of buying and selling. Now, to show the connection in Revelation 13, 17, between the mark of the beast thing that they put inside of you, and when I see that word, that V-A-C-C -C word, I'm going to say the thing that they have put inside of us or something like that, so you can understand, so we can protect, at least prevent this from being taken down um, immediately. So that thing they put inside of us, remember that. ID2020 and Partners launch program to provide digital ID with the thing that they put inside of us. Let me read the headlines again. ID2020 and Partners launch program to provide digital ID with that thing that they have put inside of some of us. Let me read it. 
The ID2020 Alliance has launched a new digital identity program at its annual summit in New York. This was written September 20, 2019, by the way. In collaboration with the government of Bangladesh, the thing that they put inside of some of us alliance, called Gavi, and new partners in government, academia, and humanitarian relief. The program to leverage immunization as an opportunity to establish digital identity was unveiled by ID2020 in partnership with the Bangladesh government's Access to Information program. The Directorate, of, the Directorate General of Health Services and Gavi, according to the announcement. Digital identity is a computerized record of who a person is stored in a registry. It is used in this case to keep track of who has received the thing that they have placed inside of some of us. You see that? This is the mark of the beast married with the number of his name. That is what they have planned for the future. Now, the Jamaican one I'm talking about, I know this one, it was proposed from about 2018, and I was screaming out, telling people, this is, has to do with the mark of the beast. This has to do with the mark of the beast. At the time, this thing that they put inside of us was not released, revealed. So I was thinking, this is probably the mark of the beast. But then, as time goes by, I got more and more understanding and realized that this NIDS is the number of his name. It's the Jamaican version of the number of his name. Because the office of the Prime Minister.gov.jm, we have an article from them. And they said the national identification system called NIS is a unique, reliable, and secure way of verifying an individual's identity. Unique. Unique. What is the significance of unique? Because the number in Revelation 13:17 is a unique number. A unique number. Yes? It will establish a reliable database of all Jamaican citizens and will involve the issuance of a unique, lifelong national identification number to every person. To every person. So almost everybody will succumb to Revelation 13:17. Let me finish before I go into that. In the long term, the NIN, National Identification Number, may be used alongside a multipurpose card or be uploaded onto smartphones. The use of biometric thing, fingerprint or retina scan is also being explored. In the few, long term, NIN may be used alongside a multipurpose card or be upload, uploaded onto smartphones or be used alongside that thing that they have made some people put themselves, give, take inside their bodies. It's very simple, people. It's very simple. This is Revelation 13, 16 to 17. Almost the whole world will take it. Why? We have been accustomed to taking cards from governments. Just as we have been accustomed to taking things that they tell us to put inside our bodies. You know what that means, that the word. So because we're accustomed, one of the things that people said, oh, we have been taking this all our lives. We were taking this from when we were a baby. Oh, when you're a baby, didn't you have it? Don't you have your, your, your card with all the records of the things that you have taken? But they don't understand how Satan works and how the most I Satan works by permission from the Most High. When Satan is doing his thing, he has to get permission from the Most High. This is the Most High's will. To separate the sheep from the goat. To separate those who truly love him with all their hearts, minds and soul. And to those, from those who love the world and love Satan's, Satan and his works. So, this will choose to separate us. Because those who are truly his who truly love him, will get the understanding of this and they will run away from this 
number of his name and this mark of, his, of the beast. They will run away. But almost the entire world will succumb to it. They will say things like, Oh, we have been taking numbers. Don't you have a social security number? Don't you have a TRN number? Don't you have a whatever number they call it in your place? Yes? Don't you use it? So what is wrong if we take a number now? Hey? And what's going to make it worse? They are going to make sure that you can't participate in certain things unless you have that number. They are going to say your child cannot go to school unless they have that number. They are going to say, hey, I tell you, I'm weary, I weep for the children, especially myself who have a, as a young child. I weep because I know this challenge, this condemnation is for this card. It's for, not this card, this number. Yes? And people are just going to take it. Everybody will say, okay, well, it's a new thing and they're going to speak about the good things about it and the nice things about it, the positive things that they get from it. Hey, I'm telling you, it's not nice. It's not nice. In the same time, I'm very, very sad. When it was the mark of the beast, I could tell people, don't take this, don't take this. But to take a card, to take a number, a simple number, a number that if I don't take it, I won't be able to buy anything. I won't be able to sell. I won't be able to go to school. I won't be able to go into the hospitals. I won't be able to go here. I won't be able to. I won't be able to. I won't be able to. How many people are going to be willing to go against that? Very few. And so my heart burns for the people who will be taking this. Ah, oh boy. Now, let's go to those who don't take it. Revelation 15. And I saw another sign in Shamaim, great and marvelous, seven Malachim, seven angels, having the seven last plagues, for in them is filled up the wrath of Alua. And I saw, as it were, a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten victory over the beast and over his image, these are all many things we have to overcome right now. We have to overcome the beast and over his image. We have to overcome his image. And over his mark, we have to overcome his mark. And over the number of his name, we have to overcome the number of his name. Stand of the sea of glass, having the harps of Alua. And it went on to tell us that they sang the song, sang the song of Moses. Hmm? It's not going to be a lot of people that have overcome this. So many things to overcome. But Revelation 14 actually tells us the flip side. These are those who were celebrating because they did not take it. What about those people who bowed to it? Revelation 14 verse 9. And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Alua, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the set-apart angels and the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever, and they have no rest day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. What category? does those who take the number of his name fall into. Worship the beast. Worship the beast. Because you are saying, oh well, I have to take this to partake of this system. Worshipping the beast and his image and receive the mark in your right hand or in your forehead. Very, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. But we have to put it out there to let you know this digital number that they're coming with, that is the number of his name that is spoken about in Revelation 13, 17. If you have known that already, fine. If not, please share it with someone. Chances are there are people out there who will not know nor understand this. Please share this so that they get an opportunity to know the truth and to reject 
this number. Some of them have taken the mark of the beast already. And they have been, some of them have been so repentant. Tell them this so that they don't take the number of his name. Right now, I wouldn't take anything that is coming from these people. It is a trap. Okay? As the Most High said, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and you receive not of her plagues. Revelation 18. It is time to come out of her. Nothing good is coming now. Everything is a trap. As Hamashiach said, As a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell upon the face of the earth. We don't want to be snared. Get out. Come out of her, my people. All right? Thank you all for watching. And until next time, Shalom. Please share this. Please, 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 please share this. Shalom.